What is going on, everybody? It is me, your boy Perucho. We're back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. In today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, we are going to be doing the red zone stage for against the Beerus fight, which there are there aren't any missions in particular to finish this fight, so it doesn't really matter, dude. Um, I think, yeah, I, I dude, actually no, no, never mind. So I, I did tr I did lose one attempt when I was trying to complete this, and then I got clapped, and I was kind of I was slightly annoyed, but I wasn't really too annoyed because you know it was just our first attempt. But then afterwards, this. Uh, I think I was trying to aim for like a no item, what's it called, run, but then I'm like, Shh. yeah, but the team that we're currently having here, uh, well, I think I, do I still have Super Saiyan God Goku? I think I do on uh, this freaking uh, team right here, unless uh, let's go see real quick, but no, we're going to get Super Attack. I think here, this actually Super does quite a bit of damage, so, oh, actually, no, never mind. Oh, okay, I thought I did more damage than that. Oh, no, I think, was it when, um, it was, there, uh, dude, I was, there, you know what's funny? Today, I literally completed this stage and I already forgot how I completed it. But anyways, all I do know is that, you know, in the freaking second part of this phase where, you know, you go to his rage transformation, I did complete him, I'm pretty sure, during that part of the fight. But, dude, that was kind of a scary freaking situation because, like, the fact that, yeah, he just he just goes crazy, dude. He goes freaking crazy. And then I think you can't even dodge his attacks, too. So that's what also makes it a bit scarier, too. And then, and then I think I have a STR Super Saiyan, a blue Gogeta on the... On the team here so like yeah i can't even rely on him freaking dodging i think we actually show it off here too in the in the what's gonna call it uh mid transform well not mid transformation but during the transformation too when we get to that part of the fight right but anyways yeah hopefully uh what's about you guys are doing ho hopefully all you guys are doing fan freaking fantastic but yeah this this uh this fight at all wasn't really too bad at all uh just just like literally how that was described oh wait no we don't have super saiyan god goku the uh the physical one it was the one i was referring to like the one the the the, the layout that we currently have here but no, I thought I thought we had that Goku, but no, never mind. We have the Super Saiyan God Goku from the DBS Brawl, which definitely a better uh, pick to bring here because of the fact that you know, although you know he might not be defensively be all that nowadays, uh, we probably might have to get two supers to be able to defend uh, pretty decently uh, from these uh, bosses that do a lot of damage. And, and the fact that if they're in the Pure Saints or uh, Movie Bosses category, then yeah, we would definitely be able to defend pretty darn well. But yeah, um, what's we call it? This uh, what's we call it? This Gogeta here still be able to defend pretty darn uh, decent too in this fight. Uh, I thought he was gonna take a bit of damage during the end phase of this freaking beers, but no, not too bad whatsoever, dude. So thankful of that too. Also, I think uh, his Super Saiyan Blue transformation form as well. I thought he was gonna get clapped it, but no, perfectly fine from there as well. But that, that was kind of annoying. The freaking scene that Super Tech being launched this dude, the fact <laughs> the fact that he, you know. We were doing. We saw. We took double digits in the first attack, and then afterwards, you know, we, we got super attacked after. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's that's probably gonna do quite the amount of damage towards us. But oh, whatever, doesn't really matter. I mean, we should still be able to what's it called? Hold, hold on. Oh, actually, no. Here, I thought I was like, dude, are we gonna be able to freaking uh, you know hold you know our positions here? And then I'm like, I mean, I wanted to keep the Super Saiyan God duos with paired up with freaking physical Gogeta here, but yeah, despite them guarding, I think they they are not gonna be able. to they're not going to be capable though to defend pretty uh, well here, but and definitely, of course, what we need to do is, uh, of course, uh, build up with Piccolo. That is a priority right now, because you know, Piccolo he not only gains attack, but he also gains defense. And yeah, we definitely want to uh, stack up with that as much as we possibly can before we get to the next part of the phase. Which I'm pretty sure, really, after this, uh, after this phase right here, with uh, multiple call Gogeta doing this, yeah, we we are going to the next part of this uh, freaking fight. Team. And then, oh, actually. My my main strategy or my plan was to what's gonna call it have us defeat the the phase of the last turn with uh, the last rotation that we had there we you know to make him uh, beers go to fury mode and then after that I was gonna transform into freaking orange piccolo too you know I think that would probably lower down his fury uh, turns but I wasn't sure of that but hey I guess what we will find out like I mean do we take two more turns after this. Probably, I want to say honestly, but just, yeah, and then we're, we're almost so close to finishing this guy off, too. I was like, dude, oh, dude, if we had like double physical Gogetos in this freaking rotation, uh, we probably would have been able to finish him off here, but nah, sadly, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't look it doesn't, we weren't even that close. I mean, we're close, like, we got him to like at least more than half health, but we have to go to that freaking fear mode, I guess, huh? But, anyways, yeah, that's that, and then after that, we're going to freaking Beer, uh, Beerus is going to fury mode. And then, yeah, this is where he gets kind of scary as well. And then, of course, we're trying to him into freaking Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, which, I mean, doesn't really matter here at this part of the fight because of the fact that this guy is, uh, his attacks is all guaranteed to hit. And I'm like, great, that kind of sucks because, you know, we need to freaking, what's I'm going to call it? We need, I want to dodge as much as I possibly can against this guy. And then the annoying part there, too, is that this guy also changes freaking uh, key spheres as well, which is, I'm like, bro, you've got to be freaking at me, but whatever. I, I got the tech key spheres mainly because of the fact that, you know, I wanted to 
to get as much help as I possibly can as well. So, and then I also, oh, I also use the Wii side because I'm pretty sure if I didn't use that Wii side right here, we were going to be, we we're just going to take too much, dam too much freaking damage, you know, especially, oh, especially if that Gogeta in the middle slot. I mean, maybe he could have survived. I'm not sure, but I don't know, man. I have no freaking idea. He, I mean, we are stacking defense with the Ultra Super type, but yeah. And then here, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I doubted that freaking um, Super Saiyan God Goku was going to be able to survive this without freaking Wii's activation because we didn't even get any Rainbow Key Spears, which, you know, builds up his attack and defense. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I could, you know, I should probably just double check on that real quickly on my end. So I don't um, So I'm not giving out false information because I do not. I do not. I don't like what I do that, but sometimes I feel confident that I know. But yeah, all right here. Uh, so plus an additional attack and defense is plus seventy seven percent with two or more rainbow keys. Oh, I thought it was for each rainbow keys for throughout the whole like throughout two years. All right, never mind then. I guess he just needs two rainbow keys first to get uh, an additional attack and defense uh, plus seventy seven percent. But yeah, anyways, uh, here we go. Uh, Gogeta doing this thing, and then like I said, I'm pretty sure we're more than fine here, even though we are tight disadvantage, but we have freaking the active activation. The one thing I was just I was slightly worried about was freaking the the Super Saiyan Gogeta Blue because you know, I mean, although we are gonna be launching, I I do we even launch like a a few super attacks here? I don't think so, right? Uh, okay, we got one there because dude, I think it, I think the next fight, literally the last uh, part of the uh, movie Red Zone uh, movie edition two uh, event. Yeah, he did. Wow. Okay, <laughs> dude. Literally, like he he wasn't launching uh, more super attacks than I wanted him to. I'm like, dude, come on, dude. You, you, you're the you're supposed to be the go, bro. What's happening over here? But anyways, doesn't really matter at all. I do. You, do I go to the active skill? Let's see if we. Okay, no, we skip it. But I think we do. I, do we watch the Super Saiyan Blue transformation here for uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta? No, we do not. We just also skip that as well. But of course, I mainly put the what do we call it the the pickle up front because of the fact that you know. We definitely want to be able to just tank whatever super tag is going to be launched towards this guy in the, in the first slot. And then here, I'm just going to be dropping up this Gohan here, which I think we do not finish this Beavers off in this rotation, which is kind of sad, but whatever. I mean, probably, maybe, if we could have... No, nah, I don't think even getting freaking Piccolo 12 key or getting up to, like, to his ultra super tag, we would have been able to, but who knows, man? Because I, obviously, I definitely wanted to get at least 24 key with the freaking Super Saiyan, uh, super Saiyan Blue Gogeta because, you know... He's gonna be mainly our, our, our he's gonna be our main uh, unit. It's gonna be doing a lot of freaking damage, here, despite the type type advantage here. And you know, even though we're attacked, uh, we're attacked effective, effective against all types, we still like calculate all, it, it reduces the damage just a bit because we are actually type disadvantage there. But you know, um, you know, still at least we're getting some some decent hits, decent hits here. And although we're not gonna be able to dodge, so we're not gonna be able to freaking build up his his chance of lowering critical hit, right? Actually, one thing that was a bit scary for me was uh the ultimate gohan the last slot because i think he ran out of his freaking um his act his active skill so we, he probably might take more uh more damage i would like him to but thankfully he does not he actually takes i think double digits as well he, i don't even think he, he did like two super attacks either so yeah i was surprised by the fact that you know he was just able to handle on his own even though we didn't do that much uh i mean the active skill i think does count on, oh he doesn't this is a super attack <laughs> okay i was wrong there but uh what i was gonna say is what time we call it the yeah he, he only did like a few super attacks there and we were able to just uh build them up a bit as a, or as much as i would like for him to and we're even we're, we weren't even able to get the ultra super attack but that's perfectly fine here i think i do what we call it? i transform into the uh super saiyan duos and then i just freaking what's gonna call it just throw the the good uh super saiyan blue uh gogeta uh actus going yeah and then they, we got that i should have dude oh my god i love the transformation song for freaking the super saiyan blues but yeah do i'm pretty sure i don't freaking turn yeah I don't turn on the active skill animations, but yeah, we just throw that. Uh, what's we call it? The uh, what's we call the Soul Punisher thing, and then boop, I'll blast them to infinity, and we are done with the stage. But yeah, that is that. Not too bad at all. Uh, the next stage, which is uh, what's we call it against the Golden Freezer. I didn't know there was a freaking um, there was two missions where we had to get it done within a certain amount of turns, and we were supposed to complete it with movie hero. So I got it like all, all both of them done in freaking one video. So yeah, that's up next, and then yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.